There was once a little boy who was given a whole army of toy soldiers for his birthday. He was bursting with excitement as he lined them all up in their matching red and blue uniforms. Each one had a musket over his shoulder. The last soldier to be made only had one leg as the toy maker had run out of tin. But this one-legged soldier stood just as proud as all the others. The one-legged soldier admired a pretty ballerina standing in the boy's castle. She was cut out of paper and wore a delicate dress with a sparkling sash. But what struck him most was that she was standing on just one leg. Just like me, he thought, not realizing that she actually had two legs. When the boy marched his soldiers back into their box, the one-legged soldier hid, hoping to talk to the ballerina. Later, when the boy went to bed, all the toys magically came to life. The jack-in-the-box sprang out of his box, the steam train chugged around, and the ballerina started dancing. The soldier was entranced. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, he said to himself, as she twirled gracefully around and around. Just for a moment, he thought she might have glanced his way too. She wouldn't care for you with just one leg, the jack-in-the-box suddenly hissed, clearly feeling jealous. Sadly, the soldier realized that the jack-in-the-box was probably right. Why would someone so beautiful and living in a castle care for him? Nevertheless, he still could not take his eyes off her. Don't get ideas above your rank, said the jack-in-the-box. You've been warned. The next morning, when the boy came into the nursery, he found the one-legged soldier lying on the floor. He picked him up and laid him on the window ledge. A moment later, a gust of wind caught the soldier. He wobbled and wobbled, then fell out of the window. Down, down, down he tumbled until he lay on the pavement, holding on to his musket. The boy rushed out to look for him, but the soldier was too proud to call for help. As rain started to pour down, the boy went back inside. It's true, a soldier should know his place, he thought. The beautiful ballerina would never be interested in me. When the rain finally stopped, two boys came out to play. Look, it's a soldier, one cried. Let's make him a boat, cried the other. Carefully folding some newspaper, they tucked the soldier inside and sent him sailing down the gutter. As the little paper boy rocked from side to side, the soldier held his musket tightly. Suddenly, the boat began to spin and the brave soldier found himself in the darkness of a sewer. He could just make out a pair of glinting eyes ahead. How dare you come into our sewer, snapped an unfriendly rat. Soon, the brave soldier was being chased by a pack of rats, but just in time, a glimmer of light appeared ahead. The boat was immediately flung into the air before it crashed into the canal and fell apart. As the little soldier sank to the bottom, he still clung to his musket. Will I ever see my ballerina again, was his only thought. And at that moment, a huge fish appeared, jaws wide open. Snap! The one-legged soldier was now deep inside the fish's dark, scary belly. Exhausted, he soon drifted off to sleep. 
He was woken by the sound of voices, and then there was a sudden flash of light. Peering down at him was the startled kitchen maid. By chance, she had bought the fish at the market. Well, I never, she exclaimed. And wiping him clean, she took him upstairs to the nursery. Everyone made a huge fuss over the returning traveler. Welcome back, boomed the general. Tell us about your adventures. But before he had a chance, the boy burst through the door. He picked up his one legged soldier and then hurled him into the blazing fire. Everyone thought the boy was being spiteful, but no one realized that the jealous Jack in the Box had noticed the ballerina gently touch her heart as the soldier returned. He was the one responsible for making the soldier suddenly fly out of the boy's hand, and he was not content to stop there. He then made the nursery door fly open, causing a gust of wind that blew the ballerina into the fire as well. The soldier tried to protect her, wrapping himself around her fragile paper body, but the heat was too great. By the time the maid came to sweep up, the tin soldier and the ballerina were gone. All that was left behind was a little tin heart glowing in the ashes. The end. <laughs>